Right, cool. So we've loaded in. We have Triarchy are uh, now the defenders. They got a couple of moles, good handful of short swords, slave, three must a long blow. Short sword, uh, oh, long sword even, at, sorry. Look at that bottom half of that pack. Literally identical lay layouts. What do you mean? From um, Blame Elias with the Fort mm -hmm. Brachios, Shenjins and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They've got a lot of Reapers out, man. Seven sets of Reapers for Blame Elias. I mean, even look, just looking at the player banners, man, like, Blame Elias have got a lot more players that actually play the game, let's say. <laughs> Well, because triac most of the triarchies are all green. I don't, I don't remember looking, if I'm honest. I was it must, have, it must have been fairly similar. Otherwise, I maybe would have noticed on your batch as well. I'll have to look on the, like, when I look back on the stream. But I don't remember seeing too many, like, more play Eden players with, like, a lot more. I think there was, I think there was five or six and there was just me. But, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but... Right, so Triarchy have got most of that. Wait, they're actually keeping units here? So this is the second matchup for anybody that's just joined. Uh, Blame Elias won their defense. So if they win their attack, they are the winners, obviously. It looks like Triarchy are actually going to defend A. Like they're ro rotating a lot of stuff into this corner here. Yeah, but they, they defend slightly different to a lot of people um and to be fair they really caught us off guard when we done a scrim with them earlier in the week and uh the defense strap worked to be fair and we'll see how well it does against elias when elias get their push on especially if they've got like a massive stack of uh reapers coming in because i mean what have they got out oh, they've got a couple of shenjins they've got flamers they've got a couple of iron reapers themselves free they've got good Javelins out? Just for the stun. That of Outriders. Where are other Outriders? Uh, on the supply at the back? Here. Sea supply? Is yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. But they've got stuff back here already. No way. Oh, here on the supply, I see. What? Alien, yeah. So that treb didn't actually do anything, I don't think. I don't know, 10 units. <clears throat> oh, that's 10 units of the attackers, are, I should. But Elias blatantly know now, blame Elias, that there's a wedge of units over here. So they're actually, they should, I assume, know that there's actually going to be a little bit of pressure on the A, a side. The units of these here. Is that the crap javelin? Yeah. Crap javelin. Gate's just about to drop. Is has dropped. Hawk just killed Eagle. Where the hell was that? I must have ballisted him or something, because Mr. Tox out there, look. Maybe. The Iron Reapers have pushed in here without any support. Um, with so many heroes, they're just going to get absolutely annihilated, so I can't help but think that that was a mistake. Or was that like the Reapers from the di guy that just died? Who was it? It was Bo, weren't it? Wrong side. <laughs> Eagle. No, he didn't have he didn't have uh, Iron Reapers, so no idea who those were. They're just all going to rush the seaside stairs, and because there's like nothing over here, the whole team of Blame Elias is going to power through here. It's not even going to be funny. And Blame Elias in the corner here are going to be there. Uh, sorry, Triarchy in the corner here are going to do nothing. They might leave a guy to slow them down, but there's a third of the team over there. If these get their... If if Elias get their guys on this side quick enough, their units, and push, and they've got a wedge already, that, that there is going to be gone very quickly. So again, there's no Falconettes and there's no Keshigs. So Quan and Fabio over here, they need to get pulling back already in CB. Like massively need to get pulling back already, otherwise they've lost C already. So the fight's going off. There's no. Why? Did... That treb's gonna do no. Is... Why didn't they just treb back here? Did 
You got Iron Reapers. You got Palace Guards pushing the Kesh. That's not Keshig. What unit's that? That's it's the Outriders, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Outriders. They've been pushed back. They're obviously trebbing to stop reinforcements coming in. Good Pike Walk, I'd say, but with the shields up already and Flamers, that's going to do nothing. Especially Plus all the days. heroes jumping in. There's nothing to be. These guys have pulled down. Wait, there's guys in the back here. Six. All right, yeah. So they're going to try and slow them down, but it's it's too late. They've lost the. Kaelian Militia. No, Shenjins. They just got hit by Flame Elias units, though. The majority is obviously just stopping reinforcements coming back in. That's a good shout from Blame Elias. They've got enough on C that they'll clear it in a second start capping it. Um, the couple of guys from Triarchy back here have basically been dealt with. Yeah, they're, they're basically dead. Or the units are, at least. Blame Elias are just putting pressure on here so they can get C easily. And as soon as C's got... Oh, say that, they've just been stopped. That wing the stars. Or oh, Armigas. They got Madao in there as well. Iron Reapers are still going to be able to do work there though, I feel. Triarchy now have got the hero advantage though. So they might be able to recover from this. Although, Blame Elias are getting quite a bit of cover in now. And they're getting quite putting pressure on B as well. <laughs> Cavalry's going straight in against the against the Shenjins. Blood story. So the Shenjins there are gone. They've got Fort Brachios and Outriders back here though. Yeah, I think Blame Elias are pulling back for a reset. Good recovery from Triarchy. Blame Elias have, uh, have lost, what, five, six zeros. They're getting a little bit of cap pressure upon B, but they've got eight minutes, so they've got time to, to push yeah, again in a stick. Blame Lice, they tried to push down the stairs onto the supply. If they just held the top of the stairs and they then should, just would have been fine, I reckon, yeah. Yeah, completely just took C. Whether they lost that push in, in the end, but then it would have been a home point battle, so they would have forced yeah, them back. Yeah. I reckon that was a good shout as well, especially because this area here, if they would have defended like the top of the stairs, like this whole area is trebable. Yeah. So the majority of the, the support coming back in from, from uh, Triarchy would have been able to get stopped there fairly easily. And if they'd have maybe sent one more dude down onto C and like blocked past the C point, they would have been whole, uh, like easy, would have easily been able to get the cap off, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. But a strong push though, I think unit wise, yeah, Triarchy have lost more units. I mean, it's only 30 units, it's not the end of the world, but they've lost more units. I'll check hero kills before a fight kicks off again. So, Blame Elise have lost 12. Oh, wait, Triarchy only lost 4? Really? That's massive, and that is. Especially when you think you've only got three deaths allowed. Okay, I thought that Triarchy lost more, man. It seems at one point that they just had no heroes anywhere near anything. Well, that's actually good for Triarchy then. And now they're not in a position where they've got like a, a big blob of units over here, basically not in a position to do anything. And they've got everything in the area that they need to be, so they should be able to get rotations off pretty quickly. Get stuff done. And you got some guys from Triarchy just appear being pain in the ass. He's look stopping them getting the resupply and stuff. If they can get rid of that blood story as well, that's a good shout. It looks like Blame Elise are gonna do the big push on the backside again though. Hopefully Triarchy don't have too much stuff over here. They've got five, six heroes. And the big yeah, push but is the coming over here. Rotate quick enough. They've left their units there, which is the main thing. Yeah. They're moving most of it over now as well, which is good to see. Blame Elise should have been left? trebbing here already though. Yeah, they got Five. Five. That's not. Unless they're thinking, yeah, we can win this push. We'll use them for the for the end point. A lot of reapers in there. Fort Brachio. There's flamers from the defenders though. That is going to be huge. Furious is trying to get like round and jump on top of the flamers though, but I don't think he's able to do it. I oh, sent he's a pike, so he just glitched through everything. Of course he did. And he was actually going to try and go. Oh, he died. <laughs> he was going to try and get onto the C point. I actually expected those flamers to do more. I think the attackers must have bombed them or something. They must have used Shenzhen bombs on the flamers to actually stop that. So I didn't actually see that on the map, but uh, Blame Elias just literally sent cavalry through the back here. I was just thinking, how the hell is their blue cavalry charging from behind? And they definitely didn't come down the staircase, so they must have run all the way around. Uh, they've cleared C pretty much. Yeah, They've got a yeah. huge wipe on That's what they should have done on the first push. Just, yeah. A few guys sacrifice holding, everyone just takes C. 
And there's a five man here basically just getting trolled into staying there by Lord Monk. And Mr. Tox there as well. So that's a lot of Triarchy guys that are nowhere near the end point. A lot of them are still dead. So it's going to take a long time to get in. And Blame Elias can just put pressure on already. They don't even really need to win here. They can just put pressure on and start making Triarchy. I don't panic. know. If Blame Elias don't want to get caught out here with a few heroes because yeah, they it's don't still want to... their first deaths of all Triarchy. So. But unit wise. They're massively ahead. So as long as they don't lose heroes needlessly, they should be good. They've I don't got know, resupply they've got now as well. heroes here that are going to potentially get pinned quite hard. I don't know. Look, there's only eight Triarchy. I know they spawn right in the fight, basically, but you've got more reinforcements coming from Blame Elias here now as well. Lord Monk and that just look like they actually won their fight, or did the Triarchy guys run? Is that Triarchy too flex? That's blue as well. They're getting B as well for more time. Must have been somebody that's just died. Only 11 heroes up from Triarchy, and obviously when they come in, they get, they're having to panic and just run in and fight stuff. The attacker should be Treb in here, though. And that would be their own units, but they need to get a Treb down there, I think, the attackers. Or here. They're slowly grinding the defenders out, though, I think. Too many short swords by the looks of it. Defenders, unfortunately. Not enough DPS. Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to get a cap off now, but... Yeah, they can. They can. They they have to yolo in. That's the problem they've got now. They've got reapers and that though, so they'll be able to do a bit of damage. You have got Fort Brachio from the attackers. You got palace guards. You got even more palace guards coming in from Blame Elias. You got javelins coming in. You got a Treb going out. Not very well placed, but it'll probably spread out and do a bit of damage. Um, yeah, Blame Elias have got this, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's only five defenders up. Yeah, GG man. Short sword, but they just got absolutely ruined. <laughs> well played. They just didn't give time Triarchy to set up after the, the C push. Yeah. That, that, that C push was basically exactly went down how we said they should have done the first one almost. Apart from they didn't even bother really doing the staircase, did they? They just left like a couple of no. guys there to be pests and then everything just pushed through. Uh, so very well played for Blame Elias there. I was impressed with Triarchy though that they recovered from that first push because they had those like that five man squad like miles away. Yeah, and considering they only lost four heroes out of it, that was yeah, that was fair play. Um, like hero kills wise, the on here anywhere? Right here you go. So hero deaths thirty four for Triarchy at the end of it, and eighteen for eighteen for Blame.